Yes. Now, I don't want to offend our friends uh, in the western part of Pennsylvania, but uh, really it does not make any sense to use a groundhog uh, to predict the weather. I mean, why would you choose an animal that uh, burrows and hibernates underground in darkness? I mean, obviously, when they wake up after a long winter's nap, they're going to be disoriented. They're, they're not going to be able to tell, um, you know, and they're going to be, uh, they're going to be anxious about, uh, about darkness and seeing their shadow. Um, in, in fact, I would say, and this is no offense to Phil, really, um, it's a misunderstood uh, application of what was a European tradition. You know, in Europe, they use the hedgehog. And there is no comparison between a hedgehog and a groundhog. Mm -hmm. By using a dog, we are, we are continuing the long-standing um, English tradition of using a domesticated animal to tell the weather. And uh, dogs, uh, like hedgehogs, uh, are, are man's best friend. And, and they do a much better job of determining whether we're going to have good weather or bad weather. And I will say this, in the five years that we've been doing it, Sheena has been 100% accurate.